T-minus two minutes and counting. TLS is go for ET, LH2, pressure zinc. Liquid hydrogen replenish on the external tank is being terminated as planned. T minus one minute, 30 seconds, and counting. All systems are go. About 90 seconds away from the launch of Space Shuttle Discovery on her final mission. T minus one minute, 10 seconds, and counting. The liquid hydrogen tank inside the external tank is now at the proper flight pressure. T minus one minute and counting. The ground launch sequencer will verify that the three main engines are ready to start. The booster joint heaters are being deactivated at this time. T minus 48 seconds and we're transferring to orbiter internal power. Discovery is now running on a it's, uh, three onboard fuel cells. Coming up on a go for auto sequence start at T minus 31 seconds. And we have a go for auto sequence start. Discovery's onboard computers have primary control of all the vehicle's critical functions. 20 seconds. The sound suppression water system has been activated, protecting Discovery and the launch pad from acoustical energy waves. Here we go. Go for main engine start. We have main engine start. Two, one. Booster ignition and the final liftoff of Discovery. A tribute to the dedication, hard work, and pride of America's space shuttle team. The shuttle has cleared the tower. Mission Control is the space shuttle now rolling over onto its back for the eight minute ride into orbit. Discovery now making one last reach of the stars. Specialist Mike Barrett and Steve Bowen. Discovery's three main engines are burning fuel at a rate that would drain an average swimming pool in about 25 seconds. The engines combined with the solid rocket boosters produce more than 7 million pounds of thrust. One minute 50 seconds into the flight, we're standing by for separation of the twin solid rocket boosters. Discovery now traveling 2,695 miles an hour. Its altitude 24 miles, downrange from the Kennedy Space Center 29 miles. Booster separation confirmed. Discovery's guidance is now converging as the shuttle's onboard computers fine-tune the flight. Two minutes, 25 seconds into the flight, Discovery traveling 3,189 miles an hour. Its altitude, 37 miles, downrange from the Kennedy Space Center, 53 miles.